Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. This is kind of like a filament quick hit right here. My friend Nicholas, who works for Polymaker, he got in contact with me and he said, hey, Joel, I've had reports from people that the Polymaker filament doesn't work on the CR10. And he went on to say that he, he tried to get a CR10 <laughs> in order to test it, but apparently they're back ordered everywhere. And part of that is my fault, and I'm really sorry about that. But I happen to have some Polymaker filament here. In fact, this is... This is Polymax PLA, and it is blue. It is Polymax blue PLA. Seems to be a good material. The box is wonderful. Comes with this little information card that uh, I don't read. And then it comes packed in here. There is usually desiccant in here. Uh, I've used this, and so I'm just kind of showing you what it kind of comes in. Plus, this bag actually is resealable, which is nice. So you put the desiccant in the bag, put the filament back in the bag and that's resealable, of course. It doesn't work really well when you don't realize that and you just tear into the bag from the side, rendering it useless. Some duct tape will fix that. Uh, but Polymaker filament, here it is. It comes on this spool, it's a clear spool. It, it's a good looking filament. The color is very matte and thick and dark and wonderful. It's got print settings for the filament on either side of the roll. I like that and it's very valuable because on an old tea maker, of course, one side's always gonna fit uh, against the machine or there's always gonna be one side that isn't visible. And so having the print settings on both sides of the roll make a lot of sense. Other than that, it's a typical plastic filament roll. Print settings are 190 to 220 C, 40 to 90 millimeters per second. It's standard PLA. Nicholas said, hey, could you try a print for me and just use your standard PLA settings on the CR10? Of course, I'm using the Uncle Jesse CR10 S3D, Simplify 3D profile, and I loaded it up and I printed a model. And it's this. This is Nicholas's model and he calls it Printer Hell. And it's got a whole bunch of overhangs and bridges and this cool curvy thing and some really tiny little animals here and some lumps and some mumps, uh, some thin columns, some cones. Uh, it's got some flat walls, some circles, some uh, edge extrusions. Of course, I printed with no supports whatsoever. This model was printed at 0.2 millimeters and uh, printed in Simplify 3D, sliced with the standard PLA settings that Uncle Jesse did in his Simplify 3D profile. And it came, it, it, it's not like it came out okay. I think it came out great. The bridging especially is wonderful. These little flat thingies right here, all filled out nice. The circles are good. They're not perfect, but I would, I would consider them good. So, I verified that the Polymaker Polymax PLA prints at normal PLA settings on the CR10. It's a good machine, it's a good filament. I wanted to try something different though. So we set that aside and we get out this. This is a carabiner and I've printed a bunch of these before. It's a functional print, prints in two pieces. This piece, let's see if I can do this on camera. This piece kind of slides in like that and then it's a functional carabiner and it uses the tension on this part with the split in the middle to hold itself in place. It's a wonderful model and I hope you can print it out. I've printed out a bunch of these and we're gonna do some strength tests at some point in the future with a come along and a strength gauge. But for now, this is what it looks like. Printed great. Again, default settings, functional print. I would, I would use this. I really like this model. All right, so we verified printer hell works. We verified that an actual functional model works. What's left? Well, it's time to print something big. This is the Polymaker Tower or Spire or Thing. And it's 300% scale. Normally I say I GMAX size it, but it was printed on the CR10. So I just, does that still apply? This print turned out good. You can tell that the, the default profile that I'm using for Simplify 3D from Uncle Jesse for the CR10 isn't perfectly tuned for the Polymaker Polymax PLA, but it did a great job. There are sections under here where the bridging left some strings behind. You can kind of see a little bit of zits where layers were starting and ending. 
but other than that, I would consider this to be a good print. It's not perfect, but we weren't going for perfect. We were just seeing if the standard PLA settings on the CR10 through Simplify 3D worked. And it did. All right, well, hey, thanks for coming along with me with this little filament quick hit, so to speak. I'm glad Polymaker Polymax PLA works on the CR10, and I would assume that other Polymaker PLAs work on the CR10 as well. If there's something specific you would like me to test on the CR10, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to print out uh, something awesome if enough people want it. Uh, beyond that, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. A big thanks to everybody that supports me on Patreon, YouTube Red, and for everybody that lets the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five.